We're in Preston Park. This is Dan Fagri. Measuring snow depths as part of their research in Glacier National Park on climate change. Dan, would you mind explaining to us for a few minutes, a couple minutes, what you're doing exactly? Well, marking the end of a transect that goes from the ribbon forest behind me and then across this strip meadow and into another ribbon forest on the other side. Ribbon forest just being a long strip of forest and we're looking at why these exist, what role snow plays, and eventually how climate change may affect this dynamic and uh, potentially fill this open area in, and which is uh, going to have implications for a lot of mountain organisms that need the open spaces. So right now we're looking at whether the uh, wind deposition of snow uh, from the forest over there that acts a little bit like a snow fence and then pillows up snow on this side is the mechanism that, that continues to keep the uh, open meadows um, intact and makes them resistant to invasion by small trees. Uh, but there are other reasons that these could exist and we need to investigate those too. But right now we're, we're working on this hypothesis and so we'll see whether or not the pillow snow that you're standing on uh, can explain the uh, lack of trees in some of these areas. Mm -hmm. areas. Mm -hmm. And how many years have you been doing this research here in Preston Park within Glacier National Park? Well, the snow surveys have been going here for 15 years, uh, but this research is actually just a year old. So this is the first time we've done this kind of work. But uh, mm -hmm. Now, maybe we know our group here knows how long it took us to get up here, but for the folks who are looking at this video at Backpackers' website, we are how far right now into the park? In miles? Yeah. Oh, we're deep into the park. I mean, we're basically from the eastern border of the park uh, at just below the Continental Divide, which is behind us here. So, so we've uh, skied uh, four and a half miles plus five miles plus another couple up here at least mm -hmm. uh, to get into this backcountry area. And we're up uh, a bit over 7,000 feet here, right? Mm -hmm. Probably about 74, 7,600 feet. Mm -hmm. What are the peaks and passes around us? Sai Peak is uh, directly behind us over here. Looking at it there, yeah. And then, and then to the right in the view would be Sai Pass, which goes over into uh, the Bering Drainage and goes back down to St. Mary Lake. Mm -hmm. And then to the left we have uh, Pagan Pass. And then you can see a bit of the garden wall behind. And then Pagan Peak and Pagan Glacier. We're just east of Logan Pass here. That's correct. And that's Pagan Peak. And in that bowl high on Pagan Peak is Pagan Glacier. And we have spent the day measuring snow depths in this meadow. And we just spent an hour trying to get that probe out of, what, about eight feet of snow? Yep, it was uh, 230 centimeters, so it was pretty deep. And there was some icy, wet layer down there that grabbed this pole and wouldn't let go. So we had to liberate it by getting the whole thing out. And along the way, we've also damaged our high-tech research instrument here. <laughs> now we're getting a little bit of a break in the clouds. A view toward the garden wall with some clouds swirling around it. Thanks, Dan. You bet.